But let's um, ask Peter Duncan, who's president and CEO of Microseismic Inc., uh, to talk a little bit about technology and what role technology might play in addressing uh, some of the uh, environmental impacts and community um, concerns about uh, Utica and, and Marcellus development in Ohio. Um, Technology actually has facilitated uh, the development of nope. these resources, no doubt. Um, I think there's a role for technology to continue to play in making it work. Absolutely, uh, Lori. Yes, and thanks very much for the question. Thank you, Governor, and thank you, Wilbur, for inviting me to participate in this historic event. I think earlier in the upstream panel, we heard Karen Wright when she was asked how the community around Mount Vernon was responding. She said, largely, they're confused. And I think uh, that confusion has been created in our community, all of our communities, by a campaign of fear-mongering and misinformation that's been put forward by people with their own agendas, surely. And what I'm here to, to convey to everyone in the audience and everyone in Ohio is that there is a technology that has been developed in the oil business that is common practice in the oil business that actually informs about this process of hydrofracking, informs it about it in such a way that there can be uh, no doubt as to where the rocks have fracked. And I will tell you, I conveyed that to the individual who made the film should I say it, Gasland? And when I told him that there was a technology that was available, he said, really, I've been working under the premise that you can't tell where these fracks go. I should come and visit you. And I've been waiting now for two years and he still hasn't come to visit me. So I have a little video here. I want you to think, I want to inform you about this, what this technology is. You really need to think of it as putting a stethoscope on the chest of the reservoir. And we listen to all the squishy sounds that go on inside the reservoir as we interact with them. And from that, we can feed back to the engineer an image, an image in real time, a television picture, if you like, of what's going on in the reservoir. So Mr. Music, if you'd start that film, we'll start off with, and I hope I'll be able to see it because I want to comment on top of it. Are we going to be able to see it here? No? So, okay, so fracking. We're, we're describing this, uh, this process where a pop occurs as they break the rock, and that pop gives off a sound that we capture with this stethoscope on the surface of the earth. And then by capturing the, the sound at a, an array of stations, we can actually focus that sound back to the point of its occurrence and locate down in the earth where that rock broke. Now this is not black magic. This is just like satellites or it's just like the way a bat finds an insect in the earth. The, we can pinpoint to a few tens of feet exactly where the rock broke. And it's way down there below the surface. Now I want to tell you that that movie that Johnny Walker showed earlier that wasn't just somebody's idea of what it should look like. That was based on the science that I'm showing you here, showing you exactly, and if we could pause it right there, showing you how those rocks are breaking. Now, in real time, what we deliver to the engineers who are pumping these wells, in real time, what we deliver is an image in that frack truck that looks like this. And on the left-hand side, your left-hand side, you're looking at a map view of a seven-well spread drilled down into the Marcellus Shale. It's a, each one of those little boxes is 500 feet, so those wells are 500 feet apart, and each one of the little colored spaces on the well is where they're going to pump a frack stage. And on the right-hand side, you're looking at a section view. Now, I want you to note that the dark lines, the thick dark lines, represent 500 feet. And the top of that diagram is still 3,500 feet below the surface, almost a mile below the surface. So if we start the film now, you will see little balls appearing. These are what we show the engineers in real time. Those little balls represent where the rock is breaking in the subsurface. The engineers use this to, to see where they are cracking the rock, where they're going to drain the gas, and how efficiently they're draining that gas. On the right-hand side, you'll see that those balls are confined within a couple hundred feet of the well. They come nowhere near the surface, nowhere near where the surface water, the aquifers, are produced. Now, the interesting thing here is that the technology that we're illustrating here, which is, was developed by the oil and gas business and is used by the engineers, is designed to make sure that they are efficiently 
withdrawing the resources and not over pumping in any well. When we showed the operator this diagram, he saw that he could actually make his well spacing 1,000 feet, not 500, meaning he would have half as many Christmas trees on a pad. He would have half as many trucks hauling water to that pad site. He would use half as much water to create or to, to create that factory that Aubrey was talking about. So in that, they're not being altruistic. They want to be efficient about withdrawing the, the resources. But in that efficiency, they are perfectly aligned with the public interest in that if they don't overpump, which they would if they used rule of thumbs, if, if they don't overpump, then they are using the least water, the least drilling, the least environmental impact to get the most of the resources. Perfectly aligned with the public, but most importantly, this kind of technology makes the whole process transparent. It's not a black box, it's not a secret, and no one can say we fracked where we didn't. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Um, I think uh, the opportunities here to, to demonstrate to people just exactly what's happening in the subsurface are, are tremendous. Um, are operators actually using this technology in Ohio now to, to, um, to map uh, the fracture? I believe we haven't moved into Ohio. We're using it a lot in, uh, in the Marcellus. Mm -hmm. And we're moving with, with the play, but at least my company hasn't done a job yet here in Ohio. We have a couple of bids out, and I hope to be soon. 